Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Lenovo Chromebook laptop. This is a budget low-end laptop at about $200 when I bought it on sale on Amazon. I like this laptop so much, I bought two of them so I could have one for me and one for my daughter to do her schooling. She actually does all of her homeschool through the Chromebook right here on this Lenovo laptop. Now, this is a low-end. I actually have a higher-end Windows laptop, but I really like this as a cheap, easy one to have around the home great battery life and more, but we're gonna be taking a look. Does this do everything you would want it? Will a $200 laptop be enough for most people? Or is it gonna be lacking in some areas? We're gonna be taking a deep dive into not only this Lenovo um, Chromebook laptop, but Chromebooks in general. Do they have the apps you need? Do they do what you need them to do? So we're breaking that all down. Now in this video, I'll also be showing the OS in action. When I did the screen recorder on it, the transfer of it to the actual video made it look a little choppy. It's not quite as smooth as I would like it to be, unfortunately. Now in reality, actually using the OS looks very smooth, very fluid, just like using Windows or Mac with it when it comes to sliding the mouse around the screen, clicking and opening things and more. So just remember, maybe you may see a little jerkiness in the actual um, screen recording from the laptop. That seems to be more about the screen recording program I use transferring it over to my video editing software than it has anything to do with the laptop. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, you're gonna get a very good idea of what to expect from it and what it can do. First though, before we get into the review, if you're new here, do me a huge favor. Help us grow this brand new channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you learn something new. If you like these videos, check out our back catalog. We have a huge amount of them. And by hitting that subscribe button or hitting that thumbs up, you really help us by letting YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. All right, so I've had two of these. Like I said, my daughter uses one for all of her homeschooling. I like it as a very cheap one I can bring with me when I'm traveling or I can bring with me just sit in front of the TV, surf the web. Very good battery life. About 10 hours of battery life under average usage. Higher in processing, we'll eat into that a little bit with that. Now I do have a very powerful thousand plus dollar Windows laptop from Lenovo that I love. I bring it with me when I work and do video editing on it and more. It's great. A couple of downsides of that. It's a thousand dollars. Two, like 204 when I bought these two. Um, and the battery life isn't nearly as good as this. With the uh, Chrome OS you get excellent battery life. Varies depending on what laptop you buy. Now there are a lot higher end Chrome OS laptops. You can get much more expensive, much better one, better quality screens, better everything with it. Of course, you're gonna pay more. Now overall though, but for 200 bucks, I'm very happy. It does come with a SD card reader on the side here. Back up, come on, focus. There we go. SD card reader, USB, full size HDMI, not micro HDMI and a USB-C plug on it. Now the downside of the USB-C can be used as a full USB-C plug, plug all kinds of things into it, but it's also the power cord. So if you're charging this, that takes up the USB-C port. There's only one USB port. So like here, I have a mouse USB adapter on it. That takes up that port. I do like the fact that they have a full-size HDMI one. You go in a hotel and connect this um, to your TV through the HDMI plug, you got a bigger screen, connect it to an external screen or more, a lot of options there. On the other side, you do have a headphone jack and um, microphone, so it's a standard aux cable size plug, eighth inch, and then the standard laptop um, lock there if you wanna lock up your laptop to a desk or more. Pretty nice feature with it. So limited amount of adapters. Again, you can buy a Chromebook with more plugs. This one does come with Again, one USB, one standard USB 3.0, full-size HDMI, and a micro SD card, which can be used to, uh, to view photos and more through it. Now, the actual laptop is pretty nice. It does come to a lay flat. It's not a tablet. It, unlike some that roll over and turn into a tablet, this one does not. I apologize, probably nailed that microphone and caused some noise there. Um, the actual keyboard is a very nice, I really like the fact that it has a full size shift key. He's on both sides of it, which is really nice. Caps lock on Chromebooks has been replaced with a search key. So if you're somebody yelling on um, forums a lot, there is no caps lock with it. But it's really nice to hit that search, brings up the search to search Google or search the contents. Now, 
Beyond that, there is no function keys on this because it's a Chromebook, no F8s, for example. But there are things like take a screenshot, volume controls, power, and more up there. We're very helpful. Really love the ability to um, adjust all that with it. It also does have the directional arrows, and they're pretty nice. They're the smaller up down, which is nice. I know a lot of laptops um, exchange the full size shift key for bigger directional arrows. I prefer a full size shift key because I type a lot for work. Now the OS itself, you it does use a Google account to log in. You can log in through a guest and just browse the web through it. Or, and you can have multiple accounts. So if my wife, for example, wanted to log in her own account, she has that. We have a family managed account for my daughter, so she has an account on this, and I have an account on this. Login into each one does jump you directly into your desired uh, setup with all your favorite programs and apps installed. Now there is about 64 gigabytes of internal SSD storage, which isn't a lot, but is enough for a laptop like this. If you think about it, you're just installing maybe some Android apps, which don't take up a lot of room. Now this laptop does have full access to the Google Play Store, which is very nice. It does allow you to download different apps and more from it. Most apps are compatible with Chromebooks, including things like Zoom and Skype, um, Microsoft Teams and more are all here. Now it does have Microsoft Word and more that they have announced in the future, they're going to end dedicated app support for Word in favor of a mobile website version of Word, Excel, etc to be used on Chromebooks. So keep that in mind. You can also use Google Docs for free to edit um, Word documents, Excel sheets, and more right through here. Now let's dive into the OS. Now the actual OS is pretty straightforward. It does a really good job of getting you what you want. Surfing Chrome, checking your mail, and doing some basic things. I have used this for some gaming. Use some different Android games on here. And basically your mouse acts as the pointer uh, for your finger and whatever you would tap on the screen you just click on it with a mouse now it does work with logitech mouses or you do have a very nice touchpad with do, um, multiple gestures for like scrolling and more with it now i've been very impressed for a business person this does exactly what i want with microsoft office support and with things like zoom team meetings and more with it i can get most of my things done my daughter's homeschooling is great streaming video from the website using different apps like teaching textbooks to do her math and more works well. Basically, typically if there's an Android app for it, you're gonna be able to put it on a Chromebook, which is pretty nice. Also things like Messenger from Facebook and more can be installed here. Google Home to control the temp and all the different settings in my home. All are very easy to do through the Chromebook. Very, very happy with it. You do have 100 gigabytes of external storage on the web through Google uh, Drive, which is nice. You can buy additional storage for it online too, which is a pretty cool feature. Overall, I would say this is an excellent laptop for $200. Is it the fastest laptop in the world? No. If all you're doing is surfing the web, checking your email, looking at Facebook, maybe using some basic apps like Microsoft Word or Excel, this is excellent. It's really gonna do it. My daughter easily does all of her schoolwork through this, watches the video she needs to do, takes her tests, and uses some apps for math, for example. So I would say overall, this is very good. Keyboard is good quality. Again, it's not a high-end um, keyboard. I don't know if I would want to work full-time doing massive amounts of writing on it. But for writing posts, I've used Chromebooks a long time for my writing work when I ran a website that required a lot of writing. So overall, I'm very happy with it. I do wish it had one more USB port, that would be nice, but rarely does it ever come up. I think for most people nowadays, you just want a mouse, you want to surf the web and more. For me to sit in front of the TV and watch some football and surf the web, do some basic work, this laptop's excellent. It, the 10 hour battery life is perfect for the road trips and more. It really does make traveling, flying, and the like very easy. Where my Windows laptop, if I'm on a plane for a long period of time, I often find myself struggling because who, let's be honest, it seems like half the time the plugs on the plane don't work, sadly. This laptop works a lot better for that. Now, if you're a big video editor, a video game player where you want Steam support, for example, for some high-end games, Chromebooks may not be what you want because they don't um, work on some of the bigger, more higher-end apps like Steam or uh, video editing programs and more. 
that's where Windows still shines. But I think for most people, you're not video editing and you're probably not a video gamer if you're looking for a $200 laptop. Now, if you do some social gaming through Android apps, this is perfect. I do like the ability to link your phone to it and be able to, for instance, send text messages directly from the laptop and reply from both from your phone or from the laptop, wherever's in front of you is a really cool feature. So your notifications share back and forth. Really do like that. Overall, two thumbs up. This is an excellent laptop for 200 bucks. Yes, there are higher end laptops. Yes, this is a plastic laptop, not a metal laptop like my $1,000 plus laptop from Lenovo. But if you do want something nicer, there are nicer laptops out there. Speakers on it, very good quality to watch videos from all kinds of different places. Just check out YouTube, listen to music and more are good. They're not the highest end laptop speakers you'll ever find. But for a cheap $200 laptop, they're perfect. If you want to learn more about this, I'll put a link to it down below in the show notes. You can find it on Amazon. And if you like this video, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Check back for another video real soon. We'll be reviewing a lot more products and talking about all kinds of tech things right here on The Breakdown with Luke.